In Avengers Assemble, Nick Fury says, Until such time as the world ends, we will act as though it intends to spin on. But what if it didn't intend to spin on at all and decided to stop? Currently, the world spins at around a thousand miles per hour and maintains this speed at a constant as it orbits around the sun. This is how we get night and day, and partly why temperatures can change so dramatically. The Earth is slowing down gradually, but what if everything hit the brakes and suddenly the planet no longer spins on its axis? That's what this video is going to explore today. What would happen if the Earth stopped spinning? The short answer is that the planets will become very inhospitable for a few reasons. The first reason being that half of the planet would almost always face the sun and the heat that goes with it, while the other half would have the complete opposite and be constantly exposed to the cold of space. There would be a small Goldilocks patch between the hot and cold halves where life could exist, but this area would slowly move around the planet over the period of a year, in line with our planet's orbit around the sun. Earth would take a year to do what it manages to do in a day at the moment, go from night to day and back. Cities around the world would spend half the year in darkness and half in sunlight, similar to what the poles experience now. The temperature would vary wildly around the equator through the seasons. This region would spend the hot months baking, being very close to the sun, while that area on the other side of the planet would spend dark, freezing months far from it. This would mean serious issues for any life that had adapted to an environment. This would likely play havoc with our ecosystems and threaten life across the entire planet. This is assuming that there will be any life around to be threatened, but we'll get to that bit later. Next, we need to look at the central fugal force that the spin gives to the Earth, and what would happen to our oceans if it wasn't there. Over the lifespan of the Earth, this force, which pushes outwards, has made the planets rounder around the middle. So if you measure the diameter through the equator, it's 21.4 kilometers more than if you did the same thing at the poles. So at the equator, because of the Earth's spin, the water has been pushed up eight kilometers higher than if it was still. But on the entire equator, the deepest part of the oceans is just under six kilometers. Therefore, if you stop the spin, you take away the water. If our planet were to stop, slowly the oceans would move towards the top and bottom of the Earth from the equator. Eventually, there would be a massive continent wrapped continuously around the Earth at the equator, like a belt. You could go around this belt as long as you could ignore the freezing night side and the ridiculously hot day side. The water that left the equator would move to the poles, leaving two totally disconnected polar oceans on each side of this giant continent. Canada would be completely submerged, as well as all of Greenland, North Siberia, not to mention Asia and Europe with the exception of Spain, which would survive. On the other side of the equator, a newly formed Southern Ocean would start around a line running through Australia. Africa would be merged with Madagascar, and similarly, Australia would be together with New Guinea and Indonesia. Looking at the poles and the underwater basin around the South Pole is greater than that around its northern equivalent. The Southern sea level would be about 1.4 kilometers lower than the North. But this is all one theory that ignores the initial impact that would hit the planet if it stopped spinning. Visions of walking 360 degrees around the equator are unlikely to come true due to the dramatic effect the planet stopping would have on us all. If the Earth stopped spinning suddenly, the atmosphere would still continue and would be flying around at a thousand miles per hour. This would mean that all land would be stripped clean of anything not attached to bedrock. This would obviously be all of humanity, but would extend to animals, plants, soil and rocks. Basically anything that isn't nailed down into the Earth's core. They'd also have a huge effect on the planet's magnetic force. This magnetic field of the Earth is generated by a dynamo effect that is helped by its current rotation. If this rotation stopped, then its magnetic field would no longer be regenerated, and it would decay to only that which is present in iron-rich rocks which definitely wouldn't be enough to sustain the northern lights, as well as our protection from cosmic rays and other high-energy particles that rely on our magnetic field. Without this present, it would represent a significant biohazard and leave the planet open to harmful radiation. 
So the answer to this question is all very much down to the timing of the Earth and how slowly it stops spinning. If it instantly stops spinning, then we'll be looking at complete disaster straight away and chaos as all matter on the surface of the Earth would start flying around with the atmosphere. There'd be people, cars, animals, trains, you name it, in a whirlwind of items, all crashing into each other. A gradual slowing down would cause the movement of oceans that we explored earlier, which would pose other challenges as areas of land gradually became submerged, leaving only the most inhospitable places with land to live on, most of which would be around the equator. An equator that would be becoming more and more extreme by the day, with summers being exceptionally hot and winters freezing cold. Night and day would lose its subtlety that we're used to now, and it would be either one or the other depending on where you happen to be on the Earth. You'd have to wait a whole year before you get to see the other side. This is all before we've considered the lack of a magnetic field that protects us from harmful cosmic rays. Without that being in place, then we'd all be in danger of receiving radiation. That is, if we haven't all been thrown off the planet already. So there you have it. This is what would happen if the Earth stopped spinning. If it was instant, then absolute chaos. And if it was gradual, then a prolonged experience of the Earth slowly changing into an inhospitable place where life would struggle to continue. Going back to that Nick Fury quote, until such time as the world ends, we will act as though it intends to spin on implies that if the world is not turning, then it ends. He's not completely right, but he's not far wrong either. What do you think about this scenario? Did you have any idea this would happen if the world stopped turning? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then give us a subscribe. Thanks for watching.